So find a posture that feels comfortable right from the get-go, where the your back is relatively erect and your body at, at ease. Closing your eyes, you'll find yourself restricting more of the sense data that could pull you out um, into clinging or aversion. And in this practice of direct experience, of direct seeing, of going directly to the moments, I, I start with grounding myself in my posture, feeling that I'm knowing that I'm here. How do I know that I'm here? And in that reflection, as I quiet myself, I quiet my thoughts, and as I prepare myself for the concentration meditation, I open myself to all whatever sensation I feel. So I quiet myself, feeling that quality of freedom that Byron was just talking about, just that moment of freedom. I'm free to be here. And then what is it to be here? To be here in particular in a body, sitting as I'm sitting, back relatively erect, body at ease. And here, as part of the direct seeing, the direct experience, I'm, I become very interested in whatever sensation is arising in my body. Could be at the tip of my toes, could be on, on the seat that I'm sitting on. Could be an experience of temperature in the in the chest. Whatever it is. And, and again, as part of the practice of direct seeing, seeing directly what's here, whenever those sensations change to something else, I go. I follow them. Or I I return to them instead of to the sensation I was just feeling. So this first practice is welcoming the body and its sensations directly, immediately. And as such, welcoming each moment, welcoming the present moment again and again. And as we sit here in this body that we, we know as, as ours, but in a way as selfless, just sensations arising and passing away, as we come to feel greater and greater ease in this practice of just being in a body, very often we find ourselves moving toward the transient sensations, the movement of the breath, either at the belly or at the nostrils. And as that occurs at the beginning of a meditation, I just very, very gently go with it. So I welcome the body. And then I move toward the breath, toward greater concentration, toward a stronger focus, narrowing my objects of meditation just to one area of the body, either the nostrils or the belly. And that narrowing of focus gives my concentration more, more power. 
So now when I return, I return to the breath at the belly or at the nostrils. I know exactly where I'm going. And at first, I, I may be aware mostly of the rhythm of the breath, of the belly expanding and contracting. Or of the air at the nostrils rushing in and then flowing out. And I allow myself the, the privilege and what can be a great joy of just resting in the rhythm, just relaxing into this twofold experience. Of the breath at the belly or at the nostrils. And as my meditation continues to deepen with this returning to the rhythm of the breath, when I'm ready and if I feel it's right, I will sharpen my focus even further, following the breath from the very beginning of the in-breath to its end, wherever it wanders, through the belly or through the nostril whatever quality of sensation arises. I'll notice the pause between the in-breath and the out-breath, often heightening my alertness so that I'm really present with the out-breath as well. Just very gently noting as I feel the breath in the nostrils or at the belly. What that feeling feels like, the qualities of our sensations of breathing. So those qualities are typically the uh, temperature. Is it cool or is it warm? The quality of movement is the, do I experience the breath as moving or is it in these still flashes of experience? Does it have a quality, could, it's kind of like a texture, but it could be hardness or softness roughness or smoothness, tightness or ease. And then the, the final quality is just noticing uh, its dimensionality. Does it have a shape? Is it a, a point or a line? Or is it two or three dimensional? 
And again, not so much noticing it intellectually as feeling it, feeling these sensations. Really entering into them. Being with them and even being them. But because the present moment keeps changing, keeps disappearing and returning, the practice is not so much staying with the sensation, although we'll have some of that quality, as it is returning whenever the mind wanders. So as, as soon as you notice that the mind has wandered, as soon as you find yourself thinking or lost in a mood of some sort, as soon as that happens, directly but gently return to the breath. That is the practice of direct seeing. Directly coming back to what it is to be here right now in the sensations in the body. It doesn't matter how uh, alluring or how annoying a thought stream, a series of thoughts or feelings might be. As soon as you notice that you're thinking, come back. Return directly. To the experience of being here in the breath.
allowing yourself in the last five minutes of the meditation to continue to sharpen your focus, challenging yourself to really be here and knowing that it's just in the returning. And so just beginning as we begin to come back, finding the whole body again, or first maybe relaxing into the rhythm of the breath and feeling the whole body, noticing what it's like to be here. And then reminding yourself of that you're in a community and uh, as you open your eyes, um, welcoming the people that you're with. Mm -hmm.